that when Umar radiallahu anhu and the Muslims had come to Palestine and were going to conquer it, that it was conquered without bloodshed. Because they called for Umar to come and we know the famous story of Umar and how he came in his humility and trading off with his servant riding. And so when the king comes out in all his trappings of gold and he sees a man in ragged and, pa and patched clothing leading the camel and a servant on top of the camel, and this is the leader of the Muslims, he was amazed by the humility of the Muslims. And they gave the keys of Palestine to the Muslims. Umar radiallahu anhu did many things in that to respect the people there. When they invited him to pray in a church, he refused not to disrespect them. But because he said, if I pray in this church, people will come after me, Muslims, and want to imitate what I did. And eventually the Muslims will make it a masjid. And I want you to keep it as a church. And he prayed on the chair, the stairs. And that masjid of Umar is still there today, right next to a church. Umar was amazed that the Jewish people of Medina had been kicked out by the Byzantines. And what did he do? He brought in Jewish people into Al-Bayt al-Maqdis. That's our deen. Those are our leaders.